Hey guys, it's Paige and I'm back with another video for you guys. So today I am going to be doing a luxury gift guide for 2022 of Christmas gifts or holiday gifts that you can get for your loved ones. I'm going to keep everything in the $500 gift range. Um, so without further ado, we're gonna get straight into the video. But first I wanna take the time to thank everybody who's watched my videos, who's liked, commented, and subscribed. And we're gonna get straight into the video. year I did a luxury gift guide um, so I'm gonna leave a card to that video um, I still think that is a great list of luxury gifts that you can get in the $500 price range but I didn't want to be um, repetitive so I'm not going to um, talk about those items but there are some things like Saint Laurent's uptime pouch or their card case or Gucci or Louis Vuitton key holders or even Versace's robes that I think are great universal gifts so I definitely recommend that you check out that past video and look at those gift options as well um, so I know I said I didn't want to be repetitive but the first thing on my list are card cases of course, I rep recommend St. Laurent's card case. I, it's one of my favorite card cases and it's really the only card case that I have. I'm not the biggest fan of luxury wallets or small leather goods because I think um, sometimes they can be a waste of money because they're not always super functional. Um, and for me personally, I find that small leather goods like wallets get beat up in my bag pretty quickly. So I just rather pay, like get like a contemporary brand. But even then, I just don't buy a lot of wallets. But that's a personal thing. I think the exception are gifts. And I think card cases are more reasonably priced and they're very practical. I love my YSL card case and um, it's really the only small leather good that I use because I don't typically tend to carry cash. So it's just much more practical and it's really all I need. Um, but if you're buying for somebody that normally uses like a larger wallet, car cases are like really good for smaller bags um, and they're really cute. Of course, you can always just pick the favorite fashion houses of whoever you're trying to purchase a gift from or you can just stick to like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, or Saint Laurent. Um, they have like a lot of great options that are either just under 300 or a little above that. So I'm gonna leave a link to some of my favorite card cases in the description box below. If you're shopping for a handbag lover, but you're on a limited budget, that can be like really tricky to find a good handbag um, that feels luxurious without having to pay thousands of dollars for it. Of course, last year I mentioned St. Laurent's Uptown Pouch. I love that bag and I get a ton of use out of my Uptown Pouches. I talk about these bags a lot on my channel because I just think they're um, great even with price increases. I think they're one of your better values for a clutch or an evening bag. Um, but I wanted to give you guys some more options. So I really have been loving a lot of the newer rhinestone bags that have been coming out from Colt Gaia. I love Colt Gaia because I just really like the unique styles of their bags and I'm hoping to get my hands on some pretty soon. Um, some of my favorites are the Colt Gaia Hera bag. That's the bag that's really popular. Um, it retails, I believe, for $428 for the nano size. Yeah, so the larger one retails for $498. But Colt Gaia has come out with some new evening bags. Um, one of them that I really love is the Henny Nano Rhinestone bag. It has like this rectangular shape um, that I think is really really 
um, cute and fashion forward. And I think it gives this like really luxurious feel without breaking the bank. So this bag retails for 318. So it's really around the same price that you would pay for a card holder or even less depending on which ones that you're looking at but it's a whole bag. Of course, it's not the most functional bag, but it is the evening bag. Um, and it gives more of this luxurious feel that you've paid a lot more for it. And it's a handbag. And at least for me, I'm always gonna be more excited about handbags than I will about wallets and other small leather goods. And then there's also the EOS clutch that retails for $328. And then there's another one that I believe is called the Enid, um, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, clutch. And that one retails for $338. They also come in a lot of fun colors. So I definitely think Colt Gaia, if not some of the bags that I have listed, has like a ton of options for bags that are going to be under $500 and won't break your bank. Another great option is always going to be fashion jewelry. Um, I think last year I might have mentioned the Gucci sterling silver like GG logo earrings um, that I actually gifted myself for my birthday. Um, I think just like that classic Gucci logo, you're never going to really go wrong with that. I think that retails for 310 or something around there. So that's also going to be a great gift idea um, that's going to be well under $500. Of course, Louis Vuitton also has a great selection of earrings um, in various price ranges. I really like Louis Vuitton's iconic earrings. Those were also gifted to me and I think you really can't go wrong with that because it's just the classic LV letters. And of course, if you want to go a little bit more extravagant, there are various options. I'm going to leave a link to some of my favorite options that are in the $500 price range. Of course, Louis Vuitton has a variety of bracelets. I feel like these options are like tried and true. Um, but if you're trying to go for something that is a little bit more unique, um, instead of getting like one of like the leather Louis Vuitton bracelets, I think Saint Laurent's opium bracelet is very cute. It's very ladylike and dainty. And I believe it comes in silver, gold, and rose gold. Um, so it gives you some options in that area. Givenchy also has like a leather bracelet that I think is really cute. It comes in black and red. That bracelet retails for $320. So again, another option that retails below um, $500. The next thing on my list is fragrance. So I did talk about fragrance um, last year. Fragrance is always a great gift idea. There are always sales around this time of the year for gift sets or even if you're buying them separately. I know that Sephora has a 20% off promotion going on now until I believe Christmas Eve on their fragrances. And of course there are a lot of other retailers and department stores that have fragrances discounted. So it's a great gift. It feels luxurious and you could get away for with spending even less than a hundred dollars in some cases um, with a discount on luxury fragrances. I have three picks that I want to talk about today that I think are generally going to be crowd pleasers. Of course, if you know that the person that you're shopping for likes particular types of scents or has a favorite favorite fragrance that they wear all the time, then you probably just want to stick to that. But one that I wanted to mention is of course Baccarat Rouge 540. Of course this fragrance is very popular, but because it's on the more expensive side, people might be a little bit leery about purchasing it for themselves, but may love to get that as a gift. It retails for 325, 
but I think when you're talking about luxury and fragrance, um, this is one of the first things that comes to mind. So I definitely recommend that you pick that up if you're getting a gift for somebody that loves fragrance and they love luxury items. Another fragrance that I would definitely recommend is Prada's Paradox. It's a new fragrance that came out later this year. Um, first of all, I think the bottle is beautiful. Um, it has that rectangular Prada logo on it. So it really like is like emphasizing like the luxury part of the fragrance. But the fragrance itself is on the lighter side and it's a, a crowd pleaser in my opinion it's like a warm fruity floral type of scent um and the type of scent that um isn't really too unique that it's gonna be really offensive to anyone i think most people will enjoy this scent um so you wouldn't have to like worry too much about picking something up that somebody absolutely hates one of my favorite fragrances is armani's my way i also think this fragrance is really good and it's also a crowd pleaser it is like a citrus scent that has vanilla in it um I don't think you can really go wrong with that even if you're purchasing for somebody who's not really um super into fragrances it's something that is not offensive and it's a crowd pleaser as well so i definitely recommend armani's my way i think another great option is skincare I really love Chorus's Santorini grape skin drink i think it's a great moisturizer um Chorus is like a Greek natural skincare line or brand. Um, and I think they have like a lot of great options. I'm going to leave a link to some of my favorite options from Chorus. But I think it's a way to give like a luxury experience um, that's in a reasonable price range. The skin drink retails for $50. So it, it is a little bit more pricier for skincare. But if you're shopping for someone who loves loves to pamper themselves I think um, that person is really gonna love this gift idea and of course their sales they have gift sets so I'll leave some links below for that I really love Clinique skincare products as well um, so I think that's another route I'm sure they have gift sets and sales like that so if Chorus is not widely accessible for you I think Clinique is another option as well I think another great option that I think is not necessarily thought of as option instead of giving someone a tangible luxury item I think it's a good idea to opt for luxury experiences as well um, if you're shopping for somebody who works a lot or has like a lot of responsibilities and they don't get a lot of time to take care of themselves or someone who in general just loves taking care of themselves I think providing them with the means to have a luxury experience is a great gift option and I think it's something that's pretty memorable it's also a great way for you to bond with your loved one um, so some of the things that I would recommend is a facial um, I find facials to be pretty relaxing and of course they're good for your skin as well so you can go to wherever you like to go to get your facials or some reputable place in your area that provides facials and asks for gift cards or gift certificates or you can just plan to take them there um, and set appointment for something like a facial I think other great options are pedicures, spas, massages, even just paying for someone to get their hair done or colored or that kind of thing. I think, um, but I, I do think that it's a good idea to make sure that you're going somewhere that will really give you great service and give that luxury experience. So you're probably gonna have to do some homework about where that place would be in your area. But I really do think this is like a really thoughtful and unique gift idea because sometimes people have a lot of stuff or 
um, just value experiences over things and bonding. So I definitely would encourage you to think outside of the box and instead of giving someone something tangible, you might be able to give them something that creates a luxurious experience. I think another good way that you can show care and love and concern for a loved one um, is getting something for them that keeps them healthier. So if you're shopping for someone who's into tech, I think an Apple Watch is a really great idea. Um, there are some new Apple Watches that have come out. Um, I believe the Apple Watch 8 is around that $500 price range, but I know that you can actually get that for a lot cheaper because their sales. Um, Oftentimes people make health goals or new year resolutions about fitness around the holidays. Um, and I think this can be a way to make things fun, to help them keep themselves accountable. Um, and it's an easy tech gift if you're looking to purchase something for somebody who likes tech or they like Apple products that isn't um, gonna break your bank. The last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about are scarves. So last year I talked about Burberry's classic check scarf. I still think that is a great gift idea. Um, I'm pretty sure that that is a little bit above the $500 price range. So if you're looking for like a scarf option that is $500 or less, I think bandeaus or skinny scarves are a great option just because you can use them for multiple things. Um, so you can use them to wear um, like around your collar or I really like using them with like white button up shirts, but you can also wear them as a headband on your hair or a tie over your ponytail. There are also great accessories for bags. Um, There's so many ways that you can use a bandeau to elevate your style. And it's just like a classic tried and true um, luxury item of course you can go with the louis vuitton bandos but there are other fashion houses like gucci or even burberry that has options that you can choose from that will keep you well above that 500 dollars price mark so that's all i really have to show you guys today and i really hope that you guys found this video to be helpful and that you're at least one step closer to finding the perfect gift for your loved ones um make sure you give this video a thumbs up and press that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.